Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all. I am Nina Hayati, but you can call me Teacher Niti. So for today, what we are going to do is we are going to look at Form 4 English lesson, whereby it's about being a teen, which is on page 52 of your textbook. Now first, something to ponder. Do you think that teenagers in our country get a good education? Okay, first thing, what do you mean by teenagers? Are you a teenager? Are you a teenager? Now, teenagers are people who are between the age of 13 to 19. So how old are you? You are 16. So definitely you are a teenager. How about me? I am dot dot. So I am not a teenager. Okay, now, when do you think that teenagers in our country get a good education? Do you think so? What do you think? Okay. If you are able to come to school, then you have got a good, a good education. Why do you go to school in the first place? To get friends? To get knowledge? To learn? What is the first aim of coming to school? Most of you will answer, to get education. So what have you learned in school? It depends on what you want to learn. If you, want to, if you are having English lesson, then most probably you are going to learn English. And you are also going to learn about life itself. It's not actually a formal education, but also informal education. Okay, let's look at the at, at the uh, about being a teen. Okay, we are going. We have four paragraphs, four texts in the uh, on the textbook, whereby. But today we are going to look at two paragraphs: the first paragraph and also the second paragraph. Okay. Now, the first paragraph. This is very unlikely. Teachers are more than just machines that provide learners with information, help them with their individual needs and questions as well as notice if someone is experiencing problems. Computers cannot provide this human and emotional side to learning. Also, students get distracted easily. So if the teacher wasn't there to, give, to get them to pay attention, who would? Learners might just remain in front of the screen, screen without getting any work done. However, it is true that as time goes by, we will see more and more learning taking place on the computers and teachers will work alongside them. So this is about a relationship between the teachers and also the computers. Then we are going to look, to look at the next text, the second text. Okay. Okay, the second text. This is a popular belief, especially by those who are trying to prove the existence of psychic powers. What do you mean by psychic powers, actually? Psychic powers means ability to foresee something, to see something which, is, which hum normal human beings are not able to do, such as telepathy. They say that as we use only 10% of our brains, we will be capable of incredible things when we actually start using 100%. People probably got this wrong idea from scientific discoveries in the late 19th century that showed that only 10% of our brain is working actively at any one time. So they believe that we are only using 10% of our brain. Okay. However, this does not mean that the remaining 90% is unused. We use every part of our brain but at different times and in different amounts. The way we use our brain is similar to the way we use different muscles in our body. We do not use every single muscle all at once, which means that we use different part of our brain at different time. Okay, now for the next activity, what we are going to do is we are going to guess which text, which text, okay? We have two texts actually, the first text and also the second text. And we have two, uh, two writers here. Okay, now the first one, I read that by the year 2100, 20, 20, computers will have replaced teachers. Is that true? Okay, which text do you think this is? Okay, correct, Adam. It is the first text. Okay, it's about the computers and also the teachers. Then we go to the next one. Okay, next one. Okay, now the first text is by Phil Taylor, Stoke on Trent. Okay, Stoke on Trent is a place. It's a name of a place. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing got to do with the name of the person, but it's, it is the name of the place. Then we go to the second text. Is it true that we only use 10% of our brains? Okay. Now, this is related to the second text. Okay. By Adrian Lewis, Newcastle. So, now you have guessed the first text is by Phil Taylor and the second text by Adrian Lewis. So, 
the next activity we are going to look at the gist of the passage when you say the gist of the passage it means that what the passage is all about okay for the first one by phil taylor we got to know about teachers show students how to use information help them with their individual needs notice if somebody is having problems this is the role of a teacher towards the students and then for the next one students might get distracted if teachers are not there so we need teacher teachers to control the students for example in the class if the teachers are not there then most probably the the students will not be doing their work in the future more and more learning in the computers will take place and teachers will work alongside them so the gist of it the teachers and also the computers want there will be a time in the future whereby they will have to work together and now in covid-19 we can see that it is happening bit by bit level by level stitch by stitch okay. now and then the second text by adrian lewis people who believe in psychic power say that we are only using 10% of our brains okay. This is the scientific discoveries in the late 19th and 19th century. So now we can see that the it is not really true. We are actually using every part of our brains but at different times at and different amounts. Okay. These are the gist of the first text and also the second text. Okay. Then we are going to go to the comprehension questions. As usual when we read a text we must make sure that we understand the text. So how to make sure that we understand the text? We have to answer the questions. Okay, now these are the comprehension questions for text 1. Okay, look at the first question. What are the functions of a machine? Okay, anybody? Anybody at all can answer my question? What are the functions of a machine? Okay, Laila. Yes, to provide learners with information and correct exercises. Okay, everything is in the text. So you just have to browse through, you have to look carefully, then the answers will be there. Okay, then we go to the next question. How do teachers help the students? Okay, anybody at all? Adam, how do teachers help the students? Okay, okay now you have given me the answer, let's check whether your answer is correct or not cater to their individual needs and questions as well as notice if someone is experiencing problems okay where can you find the best uh, the, the answer also in the text okay then we go to the next question the third question what will happen to the students if the teachers are not there what do you think you will do if the teachers are not around what are you going to do okay based on the text again what is the answer okay check your answer again they will get distracted easily okay this is the answer for question number three then we go forward to question number four from the paragraph what do you think will happen in the future now for this question it based on your opinion but referred to the paragraph so i would like you to discuss with the teachers if uh, with uh, with your class uh, class um, classroom mates what your answers are now, after we are finished with the comprehension questions for the first text, we are going to proceed with the second text. Let's look at the comprehension questions. Okay, answer these comprehension questions, the second text. Okay, you can see the picture of the brain there. Our brain is very colorful in the picture only. Okay, look at the first question. What does psychic powers believe about the use of the brains? Okay. What does psychic powers believe about the use of the brain? Anybody at all who can answer the question? Okay, I get one answer there. Okay, let's check whether it is correct or not. Okay, we use only 10% of our brains. Okay, let's look at the second question. How many parts of our brains do we use? Okay. How many parts of our brains do we use? One, two, three, four, five. Check the answer again. Okay. Every part, but at different times and different amount. Okay. So uh, once you have uh, finished the exercise, the comprehension questions. Once you have answered the comprehension questions, you may check your answers with your classmates. Okay. Then we are going to proceed with the next one. Okay. Self reading. Okay. Now, for the self-reading, you have to refer to your text, uh, textbook. So, you have to go to page 52 of your full blast textbook. 
now. We have only discussed the first text and also the second text. But we haven't discussed about the third and the fourth text. So what, it, what you are supposed to get to do is you have to read the rest of the text and get the gist of the text. How are we going to get the gist of the text? By looking at the text, every single line of the text and note down any important points at all. Now, this is going to be your self-assessed practice. Now, for the self-assessed practice, what you are going to do is, I'm going to give you the link. Okay. This is the link. Okay. Or you can even scan here. Now, answer the questions. There are nine questions altogether. Answer the questions and then you can check your answers, where, how, the, the score that you have got. You can even discuss with the teachers and you can even give the, the score to your teachers after you have finished everything. Okay. Now, something to remind you. Let's look at this quotation. Very interesting. I think it is very interesting even though I'm not a teenager. But it is really related to you. Teenagers are the most misunderstood people on earth. The, we are treated like children, you learn not me, but expected to act like adults. Okay, we are treated like children because why? They believe that you are still children, but for you, you believe that you have you have become an adult. But honestly, teenagers are the most beautiful part of the life, the most beautiful um, uh, time of your life, whereby you have the energy, you have the beauty, you have the brain, you have the time, you have everything. So make full use of your teenage life. Okay, with that, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.